From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories increasing numbers of confirmed coronavirus cases in the country, now causing a setback for the tourism industry. Another 55 confirmed cases reported for Sunday, close to 200 for the past several days. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has seen enough. It has now moved the Bahamas from level 3 to level 4 and is advising U.S. citizens not to travel to the Bahamas because of the high level of cases here. Tourism Minister Diagel is paying attention, not what he wanted to see. We've all been seeing the number of positive cases, so it was only a matter of time before we cross that threshold and get downgraded from a level three to a level four. It's deeply concerning. It, 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 deep, it, it, it is going to impact tourism. The minister is urging Bahamas not to throw away the gains by letting their guards down. Sunday's case is spread over five islands, 21 in the capital, 12 in Grand Bahama. Abaco, Andros, and Iluthro also are reporting cases. Eight of the 55 are listed as pending. 45 persons in hospital, four in the ICU. No other deaths have been reported. And there is another concern. The Ministry of Education confirming that at least one public school has a confirmed case. Teachers' union officials say it could be as many as six, though. Education officials say they're monitoring the situation and will be guided by health officials. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. There's been no official comment from the competent authority on the recent surge in cases. Vaccinations continue. It has resumed in the capital after a weekend break, and another 33,000 doses are expected in country this week. The vaccine committee has scheduled a news conference for later today to update the public. Police looking into yet another murder. A man found in the Collins Avenue area early yesterday morning with stab wounds. They were fatal. Police say they are in the early stages of the investigation into that, nearing 40 murders for the year now. 35-year-old Ladira Russell, who admitted to forging COVID-19 test results, expected to return to court today to finish proceedings against her. She's facing more than 100 charges. 23-year-old Nicholas McKinney arraigned on murder charges in court yesterday. That in connection with the fatal stabbing of Alexander Coakley during an argument last week on Key West Street here in the Capitol. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area, hardly sunny, highs in the mid-80s, 82 at Freeport, 83 in the capital, 85 at Matthew Town. Caution flags are up for boaters, winds gusting to 20 knots, the seas up to 6 feet over open waters, low tide now, the next high around 3 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, maybe a passing shower, lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune. The People's Newspaper. Tuesday's World News headlines, jury deliberations now underway in the George Floyd murder trial in the U.S. state of Minnesota, closing arguments on the high-profile case completed yesterday. There's heavy security in the city of Minneapolis in anticipation of that verdict. Major coronavirus problems continue for India, which has reported more than 200,000 confirmed cases for a sixth straight day. The government has now ordered restrictions in a number of Indian states. Concern over rising cases in the U.S., a number of states are reporting increases despite the high level of vaccination in that country. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 486, SO488, Rubus $4.93 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Updates on the number of Bahamans playing college sports in the U.S., Read about it. The Bahamas Lawn Tennis Association naming its national teams. Find out who will be representing 
Another strong game for DeAndre Ayton in the NBA last night. 20 points, 14 rebounds, and an overtime win over Milwaukee. The Suns are now 41-16 and on the season. No one saw that coming. Second best record in the league. Get the latest NBA news on the latest Major League Baseball news. Jazz and the Marlins didn't play yesterday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.